What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 MyT video, and guys today, we got some market talk for you guys, um yeah man, we got a lot to talk about, like a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about today. Make sure to drop 20k in the comments, like the video, sub if you're new for a chance of winning 20,000 MC. And yeah, we got a lot to talk about in this video. Uh, I mean, like a lot. So, if you guys don't know, I was showing you guys that filter. As you can see, I got my tokens up. We got a ton of new cards in the collection. Um, we're going to go over a ton of ways to make MT, what I've been doing, and what I'm getting ready for. So... Make sure to smash that like button, man, and make sure to go check out my MT sponsor, bro. But, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here, and I'm, like, psyched out because it's crazy how, like, the auction is like this and what's going down and what you guys should do. And, yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple little things that you guys should do. I'm going to go over everything in this video for you guys. I'm probably going to have a video after work later today as well. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, off the bat... Um, if you guys don't know, the market's still really high. The only thing that's really, really not that high. I can't believe LeBron picked diamonds 160k. That is so insane. But one thing I do want to talk about is um, I saw a couple things. I don't know what happened, but if you don't follow me on Twitter, I somehow, I just actually missed a John Morant tonight for 40k. He's going for 70. I somehow, I was probably one of the first people to pull the new Amethyst Trey Young, and he sold for 40k. But like hours later when he was going for 7k, if you don't follow me on Twitter, yo, that is a huge snipe. Hold up. If I get this, bro, I'll be going back to that. If I get that, I'm sniping out a Tracy for the big W. Um, But yeah, so all I'm saying is um, I, I still over 40k and he's going for around 7. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you don't believe me, whatever, go check it out. But uh, yeah, I still can't get over that snipe. If we get this Tracy real quick, that's a huge dub. I've been getting a ton of bids. I got Dwayne Wade for 150k on a bid. He's rocking around, I believe, uh, what's it called? Dwayne Wade is rocking around um, 100, no, 200k. I'll show you in one second if you do not believe me. Let's go over to it right now. Dwayne Wade, he is going for around, of course, there's like none on the auction. 200k with 10 minutes left so i got one for 150 i picked up two shacks for 100k that i gotta get this for 314 that's way too cheap hopefully i snag it hopefully he's actually that price please yo hopefully he's actually that price because if he is that's such a dub real quick oh, i knew it all right makes sense all right so yeah got that i got jimmy butler for around 60k and today was a really good day to snipe, but now, guys, I really still recommend selling your team before any of this happens, man. Like, I recommend trying to snipe this filter. I'll show you right now. It's literally the Series 2 filter. I like going enable because I have a ton of my collection. But, uh, yeah, man, try sniping on this filter. It's so freaking good. It's so fast-paced. And, honestly, I probably made 100K off of it. As you can see, my MT is way down, but, yo, there's obviously reasons. I've been filling out my collection like crazy like crazy crazy so that's probably the reason why i'm down a lot of mt if i were to sell them though i would make thousands upon thousands of mt and uh yeah as you can see man these cards keep going down and down and down and yeah man it's crazy if i were to sell these cards which i should i would make so much mt and it looks like they did destroy the enabled method which is so annoying bro 2k is so whack it looks like they actually destroyed my enable method, which is super annoying. Oh, never mind. There it is. Back. There we go. We got one right there. Let me get him too, honestly. We got him. But yeah, man, this filter's so money. It is a little competitive, but I would definitely recommend doing it. Hold on one second. I don't know why I'm lagging a little bit. Turn that ring light up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Nice little lighting. Um, but yeah, this filter is really good to make thousands upon thousands of MT. I got outbidded on my, got outbidded on my jaw. I'm about to fix that in one second. Let's see how much is Ja Morant. I honestly would, if you, I, if I were you guys, I would try to get Ja Morant, bro. Um, I feel like he has a lot of value, and searching on these bids, all this value and searching for these bids, bro, you could possibly get them for cheap. 
I feel like he's going to go up in value, but then on, on Saturday, he might be really cheap. So on Saturday, if you could pick him up for the low, I think he might go up a lot of MC. He's like really, really good. He has 99 offense, and a lot of people do love Ja, and honestly, I do too. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get him for the low. Hopefully, I get him in that bid. If I get him for that bid, that is a W. He's going for around 68K. I would recommend trying to focus on moments. If you want to pick up moments, you could probably pick up some. And then wait till like Thursday and sell them because I think that's when they're out of packs. But yeah, today, man, is a crazy day. How is this Kelly Oubre? 99, 92. He's so usable. Kind of want to use him out. But um, oh, there's so much to do right now. I would recommend selling your cards. Honestly, I would just recommend getting rid of your cards, bro. This is literally just a little baby step for this week. Like they didn't drop anything crazy. All they really dropped was the moments. That's so standard, and all they uh, else drop was the NBA Series Two. They pretty much just uh, they pretty much just dropped a collection filler, and the market is still crazy, crazy high. So whoa, 235k for Hakeem. There is no way I'm seeing that right. I got him yesterday for 130k. If I actually am gonna make 100k on Hakeem, oh my goodness, 235k. There is no way in hell. Kareem is 235k. If that actually happens, bro, I'm cashing out on him. It just shows. I saw a bird sell for 250k earlier. Bird, um, if you have any, bro, pink diamonds. If you really, if you're lacking on MT, I mean, I would just please go, go buy as many. Like, get rid of your whole entire team. I'm probably gonna clean out my whole entire team besides Tracy, honestly. Everyone on this team, I'm going to probably sell him, I'm going to sell Kobe, I'm going to sell Wade, Kawhi, Bird, Bosh. I'm going to sell everyone besides probably Tracy McGrady because I would lose a ton of money off the bids. But I got Hakeem for 130, got Kobe for around 80, got Wade for 150, I got Bird for, no, I got Wade for 160, I got Bird for, I bid a bullet on Bird for 200k, he's going for like 230, 240 though. I got Bosch for 110. I got Perzingis for 150 way back. And I'm going to make tons of MT. Not only that, when the new All-Star Moment content drops, you're going to have to buy and sell a ton of cards. Like, I don't know what they have in stall, what they have in stock, but, bro, they're dropping some fire cards. I don't know what it's going to be. Hopefully, man, I really hope it's freaking fire and it creates a huge market crash, which I think it should. They're way due for a giant market crash, and I'm ready for it. I'm going to have like a million MT. As you can see, I also have a Wade sitting here. I have a Shaq selling and I have an AI selling. So I have about over a million MT ready. And if I sell this team, I could rock around like another 2 million coins off them. I would say about one something to 200 off him, another 100 of him. So let's say uh, 250, about 550, let's just say. 650, 750, 850, 950, about another like million something MT. If I sell Tracy, another like two mil with Przingis. But yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm so ready for this market crash. And you guys need to sell your cards now and just make sure you follow my tips and whatnot. But right now, the main MT method I would recommend is simply just going through the auction. Like, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Today I made so much MT off just looking at prices and just it's weird. Like I didn't really snipe today, but I sniped this method, obviously. But besides this method, I kind of was just searching like around. I, I don't know, it's weird. I was just like searching through the auction and picking up cards and selling them. Like, I don't know. You just kind of know how to work the auction. I recommend sniping on this filter, but like sniping is really that good, honestly. It's like it's more of like picking up cards when you know they're low and just selling them later when they're higher. That's pretty much what I've been doing. That's why I have so much MT. There's so many different ways to work the auction. And honestly, investments is my favorite way. But uh, right now, auction's really interesting. If you really, you can make a lot of MT with so many different methods. Honestly, any method you think that is good is probably correct. There's so many methods. And honestly, right now, this filter is definitely the best in the game. Um, heat check filter was popping earlier because a lot of people aren't on it. So I would recommend trying that too. But yeah, other than that, man, honestly, this game starting to heat up, man. It's February. I got 1,200 tokens. I just did some sets and whatnot. But yeah, try to get those collectors level up. I'm about to close in on my first Galaxy Oval. Just waiting for a solid token market update. But yeah, guys, that's really all I got. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content later and whatnot. But yeah, that's all I got. Have a good one. Peace.